Good morning. Today we're going to talk about LibreWolf. LibreWolf is a great browser with no telemetry, private search, ad block included, and hand security. Uh, it is based on the latest version of Firefox, so you would always have the latest version of LibreWolf. Now, I'm going to turn on screencast to see what I'm doing. If I type super ff, um, I will be able to launch Firefox. Now, if I launch Firefox, I will be able to see the latest version of Firefox that I have. Um, so here, the latest version of Firefox that it's available, it's, let me see, I have it on my other monitor. Now I have Firefox version 84.0.2. So we're going to start with the build process. It's pretty simple. Essentially what you want to do is you want to search a on an Arch-based Linux distribution for the package LibreWolf bin. So that's the package that you want to search for. Um, sorry, let me search again. So when you do SS, essentially it'll search for LibreWolf bin. So this is the one that we want to do. LibreWolf win in the AUR repositories. So the only way, the only thing you have to do is put yay space dash s space LibreWolf bin. This will install LibreWolf on your computer and this will help you have the binary ready. All right, so now we are ready. Now this has been compiled uh, with the um, DWN window manager. So I'm going to see the preference that you would need for LibreWolf to run uh, really nice. So we have LibreWolf here. We have added a zero to is floating. It's not a floating application. Uh, I'm going to upload this custom version of DWM to the public really soon. I'm working on the finishing touches. This is not a terminal application, so I put zero here. No swallow again it would be zero so zero no swallow means swallow so this application will be swallowed from the third you know is fake full screen is gonna be one so it's gonna fake a full screen a little bit more on that later so i also added here the class LibreWolf, the instance no uh, i'm gonna do a whole video about the awm later but essentially for now, what you need to know is that using a software called Xprop, you can uh, have very clear definitions in your config files. So when the uh, window name is about Fire LibreWolf, it's going to pretty much launch with a floating, a floating window, right? So I'm gonna close this. I'm not gonna compile the WM for now because it's already compiled. But if you want to compile, you would have to do this command, sudo make clean install. Now, uh, I'm going to close terminal. I'm going to show you how no swallow works. So first I need to do pacman query, and then I'm going to grep LibreWolf bin. I need to see if LibreWolf bin has already been installed. Great, now I'm going to query the package again. LibreWolf bin and then I'm gonna pipe it and then I'm going to grep for the binary folder so this has to be with the regular expressions S sorry um, case I'm just gonna do it like that all right so then we have the query now if I want to actually see the files that were installed I put QL and then I can even put the slash here okay so essentially the what I type was pacman query you know L shows the list of uh, files installed by LibreWolf bin pipe to grep then I put dash E for regular expressions I for case sensitive and then uh, I was looking for where's the binary so this is the binary so the binary will be here user bin LibreWolf right so I can launch it like that 
and it should swallow. So essentially what happened was terminal swallow the application. Now I don't have to do it like that. I can just call the main binary LibreWolf and it's gonna swallow. Now if I press super enter it's gonna launch another terminal and for example I can drag my mouse to here, click here, it will load bashed up, right? Now I'm gonna press super shift R and that will switch my layout to center master. Center master is my favorite layout as I discussed in the previous video. Um, I, I need to see that, I wanna make sure that bash top is going to run. So I'm gonna go to the super Z that will um, change tiles. So super C that will change to the one in the center then one in the right okay now i'm here control minus i'm going to resize okay so now i have bashed up on the right LibreWorf on the center and i have my terminal on the left so i'm gonna press super a to go to the main window tile of my layout i can press super k then it goes to the right or super a J goes to the left. I'm gonna make this window closer. Okay, now I'm going to go to the other one. Okay, anyway, now I'm going to show with Super A. I go to the tile on the first one, so that's LibreWolf. I'm going to see if the package compiled properly so it shows 84.02 so it clearly shows that it's running on the latest version of 84.02 on the latest version of Mozilla Firefox it's pretty much Mozilla Firefox recompiled now if I press F11 it's gonna show full screen now the good thing about LibreWolf is because it's such a safe operate, uh, browser it's really helpful if you want to essentially check your email so if you let's say that you want to check like your email or your brand bank of your uh, broker or something that similar to that uh, that will be really useful because it's such a safe browser that it will help you go to those websites where you want the admin security so i'm going to uh, show you guys how i use my LibreWolf here um, so basically what i do is i try to browse my email here on LibreFox. Um, so i'm gonna close the window on the center i'm gonna open again um, so basically what i do is i try to browse the web with my LibreFox here and then I also have face full screen with F11. And then the advantages that I have from LibreFox compared to Firefox is that Firefox uh, has a lot of extra things that may not be appealing to most users. For example, with Firefox, I have uh, security and privacy. It will ask you for the master password. It has DRM. It has like a lot of extra stuff that you may want to disable just for security features. I'm not saying Firefox is unsecure. I'm just saying there's a lot of uh, different uh, options that Firefox has that are not on LibreWolf. LibreWolf is essentially a browser completely designed for your safety. So the search is private. When you want to search for something, there's no telemetry data. And Google is disabled, like all the different uh, um, search engines are disabled. For example, here on, on Firefox, it will ask me if I wanna search with Google. I don't have the same option on LibreFox. I cannot go to DRM website, HBO Max, Netflix, none of that. Uh, like the data collection, like that is not here. Um, so it's pretty much a super safe, consider this like a bunker uh, with no telemetry data and no, um, no Firefox data collection. If we go here to privacy and security, uh, you would see that you have enhanced tracking protection. So that's, that's extremely good. But then if you scroll down, uh, you have a, it'll automatically detect it that I'm managing my passwords uh, with one password manager. And if I keep scrolling down, 
uh, I don't have any uh, telemetry data here if I go to permissions right I don't have pretty much you see on the right it's it, is asking you if you want to send your data to Firefox so you can opt in opt out right um, there's a lot of uh, things on LibreOffice that are completely disabled right so no telemetry data as I'm showing you um, if we keep scrolling down like you'll see a lot of options that are just grayed out or just flat out not working uh, for example if I go to general here um, DRM has been disabled um, this is this button doesn't work um, so if you want to like go for Netflix or HW uh, HBO Max things like that will not work um, so uh, you can also have Firefox and LibreWolf on the same computer so that's how I like to do it I can use LibreWolf to see my email to go to my broker do some very secure things and I can use Firefox to go to Netflix and stuff like that so anyways I hope you guys like the video uh, let me know if you want to try LibreWolf it's as I'm showing you here it's using the exact same version of Firefox it's very very safe it's um, I think it's the browser that you should consider to have it in your arsenal and make sure you have a, an alternative to Firefox if you want if you care about your privacy would you should if you don't want telemetry data if you want uh, you block included if you want enhanced security and fast updates consider LibreWolf as a new browser in your arsenal Thank you so much and I hope you guys enjoyed this video.